Hi there. How are you guys? Hi. Hello. Can't believe the week is over. <laughs> yeah, they go pretty fast, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then you take a week off. Is that the deal? <laughs> yeah. Uh, the next right. one doesn't start until the 16th. Yeah, good. <laughs> I know. People can work on their own then, can't they? <laughs> <laughs> Well, and you'll probably see uh, your number keep going up because people tend to want to keep working. You know, they fall down that rabbit, a rabbit hole or two and want to keep working on it. So yeah, good. Yeah, we'll give uh, we'll give everybody a little bit more time to get in here. I am here. I just trying to get myself organized. No worries. Thanks for all the all the coordin coordinating and chatting and helping out in the Discord, Kathy, you've done a great job being the team captain this week. I tried. I'm like, wait, I need to do something. What do I need to do? <laughs> <laughs> it's like the bounty points have all been awarded, which is fun to see. Oh, new number one. <laughs> come, from, come from behind. Well, last time I looked at the score, I think I was fifth or whatever, but I haven't done a lot in the last... 24 hours or so because I was getting to a stage where I was running out of the ones that, that I could do that I knew I could definitely do <laughs> <laughs> I haven't said that I did a few I added a few U.S. censuses to some of them so <laughs> that's great mm. Alien. yay <laughs> yeah. so today I've been uh, today I was um, working on so something for the England project to their monthly challenge and I'm uh, Managed to connect up some people to a profile, uh, connect somebody up to um, profiles that were already on Wikitree. So hopefully that will show up tomorrow. That's exciting. Mm. Well, here comes Greg. Hi, Fran. Hi. Hi, Greg. Hi there. How are you? Hi, Greg. Good. How are you doing? <laughs> Hi. How are you, Randy? Hi. Good. All right. Well, thank you everybody for joining us. We're wrapping up the week for Randy and Randy's here with us today. Thanks Randy for joining us. It's always great when the guests can join in on the chats. So we just were briefly looking at the score sheet that has been updated now with the bounty points. Lots of bounty points that were awarded, which is exciting. And so it we had a total of 35 participants added uh, 1,211 profiles and increased the CC7 for Randy to 2,457, which is awesome. We got your 2K connections badge there <laughs> now <laughs> on your profile. And I noticed this morning that my uh, connection to you uh, went down went down to 18 per 18 degrees i think it was at 19 still ninth cousin <laughs> so that's fun and the, i think i was looking at this a little bit earlier john tyner it got a lot closer to you five degrees closer so it went from 21 degrees to 16 so that's fun to see there were some other uh changes but uh, that one was the the largest change overall. So from the score sheet right here at the top, the distances is where this is, where you can see your distances to all the different challenge participants. It's really a lot of fun. I think Kathy is my closest participant. Oh, really? Yeah, I think so. I, I think, think so. I think she was. Oh, yeah. 15. Yeah. 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 That's cool. That's great. And we had uh, some interesting finds that were submitted. So they, those uh, participants got uh, awarded those bounty points for that. Does anybody want to share what they were working on specifically? You go to the interesting finds. There's something that I wanted to ask Randy about. Okay. Um, the um, person, let's see, the Edwin Butler Bryant. If yep. you click on his profile, I put the newspaper article associated with this find on his profile page. Okay. And it, 
I don't know where the news came from, but scroll down to the newspaper article. Yeah, it said, yeah, look what it says. He says he was, um, he came to the, that city with the name Edwin Butler, and he changed his name to Edler, Ed, Edward, but Edwin Butler Bryant on a certain day. Let me, huh. let me see what that. Um, and if that's true, then the whole history is wrong, but I doubt it's true. I just think there may be, I don't know. In and 1889. Yeah, in 1889, he had his name changed, name legally changed to Edwin Butler Bryant. It's something to pursue. I don't, I have no clue if that's true, but, and I didn't do anything with it. I just put the article there so you'd see it. Thank you. I, I haven't seen it and it explains some things. <laughs> uh, Juliet was uh, the first child of my second great grandfather, Isaac Sieber. Uh, uh -huh. her, her mother died in childbirth. And so Juliet was always kind of, you know, sad and we knew that she married but i and they had no children and so you know it, it just one of those people that is in the family tree but you know they're not an ancestor they're you know they're, they're just a connection uh -huh. mystery family mysteries thank you friend for finding that excellent yeah, well, I hope you can do something with that, but uh, it'd be well, interesting because you have this whole connection through the but Butler Bryant line that if that's true, those might not be right. But I looked at those connections and they appeared to be right. So I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Good. <laughs> I was working on a lot of the um, Wiltshire family. Um, and I. I, I I think I found somebody, I, I managed to find somebody that came to Wales and um, mm -hmm. I put it. something on the interesting finds because he um, actually um, was found drowned in the, um, in the docks, Butte docks yeah. in Cardiff. I think I've actually put something on the, um, uh, I, ha I, I, I did, I think I downloaded the thing, but it wasn't an awful lot on the about it on in the newspaper. But I think I've put something on about which newspaper it was, which is, a, um, uh, I think that one might, might be in the Welsh newspapers, which are free to access anyway, so anyone can access it. So if you can't, if you can't, if you have problems getting um getting to the newspaper, then oh, I've actually um transcribed that. One. You, you transcribed and, it. Good. Yeah. yeah. But if you have any problems, um, I think there's a link to the um, a link on there anyway, so you should it should it shouldn't be a problem. Are the Welsh newspapers in English or Welsh? There's both English and Welsh um, newspapers on the Welsh newspapers site. Um, there, it covers a lot shorter period than the um, British National, you know, British Out newspaper archive, but it it it's, it does have English and Welsh ones on there, so Welsh language ones, so. Um, I, I must admit, I only ever look at the English language ones because my Welsh isn't that good yet. <laughs> <laughs> I think he, there was somebody else as well that died um, in uh, Carnarvonshire, which is not very far from me. So <laughs> That's great. Thank you, Hilary. Yeah, I think I put a couple of things on the interesting finds. I can't remember what the other one was. <laughs> yeah, it looks like um, Rebecca Rich Abrams. Yeah. Yeah, they were working. There's, there's a, a, a Great Western Railway would have been quite a um, quite a few people would have been employed by them in in the Wiltshire in that area anyway. Um, so, but there's a lot of um, connections to weavers. Uh, a lot of them were, were weaving, um, and I noticed that people that were woolen cloth weavers um, went over to. Uh, the United States and we're doing the similar sort of trade um, when they after they'd emigrated. Hello Robin, thanks for joining us. <laughs> Sorry I'm late, I was adding Civil War veterans. <laughs> no worries, great to have you. Looks like we have some military profiles that were added and uh, I just added this one this morning, this um, 
I don't know, Randy, if you know, but uh, Wikitree has a source library that's put together. So for books that are uh, free uh, out on the internet, uh, like Internet Archive or Family Search, then we have an uh, entry in the Wikitree source library for each of those books with the different places they're available. And That's a great this allows us to, book. yeah. <laughs> The able obbles. <laughs> so it, it also allows us that to, uh, when we use it as a source on a profile, we can then see all the profiles that are using that source. Yeah, I and think I'll, I have some profiles that use the source. Yeah. And so uh, it also allows us to have on this page, on the book page, if there are any errata for the book that we can you know, collaborate on and share with each other. So it's kind of a great, great way to um, that, that was a to very share information book for me. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, just some some infer interesting. Maybe uh, since it's been a while since you've been uh, on WikiTree, doing a lot on WikiTree. I didn't know if you know knew about this or not, but it's a great resource. I did. Thank you. <laughs> All right, does anybody else have anything to share or want, want to talk about? Um, I think I made a mistake with John Palmer being Mary Palmer's father. Hmm. But not being able to see the will extract, I'm unsure whether it says any relationship. Okay. But he's definitely related. And that's this Mary Palmer brick wall that, let's just open that up here. Somebody may have removed John Palmer now. I don't know. It uh, looks like it's still attached. All right. That'll be uh, great to kind of maybe somebody else will be able to help you with that or because you're usually the one that finds all, all those kind of records for us. <laughs> well, I did. I did find the will extract on the uh, Somerset archives. Oh, nice. But only brief details of it saying oh. she was the executrix I and see. to actually see the actual will extract uh -huh. um, would take about six weeks. So um, I couldn't, couldn't look at it and I couldn't find it anywhere else. But I will say that Samuel Bow, who was uh, the father of her husband is mm -hmm. not the far is not the son of Josiah. He is the son of Joseph. I found his uh, I think it's Samuel there somewhere. He's the one there's Samuel. That died in eighteen something. Okay. I'm on the iPad, so I can't look. Yeah, my cousin Sarah Anson Vox is uh, and Hannah Nicholas uh, are still working on the on the book. Uh, I have a early, you know, version of it, you know, in e in an ebook, so. Uh, I've had a lot of information out of that. That's all the Somerset folks that I have mm -hmm. basically come out of that book. Uh, I have done research on some of the people going back in time. And Mary Palmer has always been a mystery to everybody. Uh, mm -hmm. I think the record, the marriage record says of Martok, 
And uh, there are a number of palmers in Martok. There's a couple of family trees that have other people, not this uh, uh, John Palmer. Uh, so who knows? Uh, I, I haven't done anything with that yet. So, but I will. Thank you. I think you've got to go through the register. There's so many bows in the register. I started to go through the register from uh, quite early on. And there's a lot of bows in there. There's uh, the problem is I'm using all the same names. So I normally go for wills for to sort those things out, but couldn't find, of course, uh, Somerset wills. A lot of them got destroyed during bombing. <laughs> Thank you, Greg. It's like we lost Ao and too. Greg's got to go. But we got uh, Frank. Hi, Frank. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, uh, Anne, for that information. And uh, it sounds like you'll probably continue working on that. It's exciting to see where that'll go. I've got distracted by having to transcribe a load of will. <laughs> for the PGM law. Um, I uh -huh. found Samuel now. Samuel died in 1808. He's Bo uh, 441. Oh, this is the wheel extract you were talking about? That's one I could see, because that was on the National Archives. But his father was definitely Joseph, not Josiah. I think the book says Josiah. But then I couldn't place Joseph anywhere. But he may be the son of another Samuel, because there's another Samuel around, or another couple of the, the right era to be his father. So I think Samuel, this Samuel Bowe's father, Joseph, was probably the son of a Samuel. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's new information for me. I'm not sure that Sarah and Hannah have that. Uh, so I will share that with them. It's, it's a question of pl plodding through the register. But I didn't have a lot of time, so I went through very quickly and just... Um, checked around certain dates but really to do it properly it's a question of going through the register and just noting all the bows good thank you that's great all right and Sarah so... was a daughter oh, she okay. left a will she was left a will. Um, I don't know whether I put it on her, put the link on. Yeah, it looks uh, like there's a will on here. Yes, I didn't have time to transcribe it. But she mentions quite a few relatives. Okay. Does anybody else have anything that they'd like to share or ask to see or? I was working on, I think it's Br Braithwaite and Knobs. I think I, I know Knobs. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. N-O-B-B-S is, no. the, is the last name. Um, I started adding stuff and then now it looks like there may be a little confusion somewhere um so i was adding some profiles last night i'm not sure if it's the right one or if two i want to say william 
Hardman, Knobs, um, going back from him. Um, I started working, I was working on it last night and I going to take another look at that to make sure those what I saw are correct or not. Azura, if you would go search for Irving Braithwaite. Uh, okay. Yeah, Irving, I-R-V-I-N-G. Yeah. Braithwaite, and then show his tree and uh, and you'll see what Kathy's done. Uh, she's filled in a lot. He, he married my uh, Aunt Marion, who lived to be 99, and first first husband of her, and uh, so I, I, you know, I haven't researched his line at all. But look at all the uh, profiles that Kathy's added here. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, I, I said, oh, let me see what I can find, and then I just started going and going and going, and I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> you probably stayed up late, right? <laughs> You fell down the rabbit yeah. hole. And there's the knobs on the brother of Ruth. So it, it's Ruth. Yeah. Uh, Ruth is Irving's sister. Yeah. Um, that one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, going back on on that line. Um, there. Are, <laughs> wow yeah that's amazing yeah yeah at the if you scroll up a little bit to the top part of it where because it goes stanley then it goes william then james and then james and then william it's the james hardman knobs that you have the mouse on right now i think that's kind of where it's within Kind of him below and and possibly above that there's a little there may be a little bit um confusion so i'm going to try and get that sorted worked out worked out because i was working yeah. and then it i because i found one of the profiles on WikiTree already but there was no sources or anything attached to it um mm -hmm. so then i started it was on family search and with sources and stuff there. So then I started going through using family search and ancestry, trying to compare everybody and so forth. And I'm like, Ooh, I wonder if this person's confused or not. So yeah, it's about one o'clock when I went to bed this morning. So <laughs> <laughs> classical, I, right? <laughs> I, I'm not dead. I need to work on it some more. So but yeah, yeah, I I like to go wide and get the siblings and their spouse, especially with if it's within seven degrees. And sometimes um I will fill out the family if even if it's at like eight degrees. But there are quite a few profiles, um, especially when it was starting to get late at night, that I would just uh, do the category of needs more profiles and some of them will have a research note on it and under the research note will be a name or multiple names um, of profiles that may need to be created. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I got excited because I saw some Peasley in there when uh, I did a search <laughs> to see where what needed to be added. That's a uh, that's uh, in my family. Uh, my mom's maiden name actually is Peasley. So I do the Peasley name study. So I started taking a look at that one. And so that's one I was working on. So I added her siblings. Anyway, <laughs> so it was fun when you have a connection to uh some kind of connection to a, a family in there of course i we don't have um any information for this uh her father going back any further than him so 
I'm going to be kind of working on that a little bit more to see what I can find out about them. Yeah, Colonial Maine is tough. Um, and just in case anybody was at the last chat that we had for the weekend and uh, we were talking about uh, looking for um, profiles that were created by a specific person for the challenge. Um, and it wasn't working for us when we did the search before. So uh, we got some more information from Alesh on, on that. And so the, the um, search was correct. It was just that it, we, need, we needed to wait for the challenge to end for it, for it to work the way it was written. So um, if you're interested in that, let me go out to, I can go to my T2G profile and find where I asked it. Here it is. Okay, so here's the, and you were asking specifically about Hillary. So I'm gonna switch out the Wikitree ID for me to Hillary's uh, Wikitree ID. So now we should be able to see some of the profiles that she did. Um, so there you go. That's uh, the, for the first part of the challenge. So um, after by Sunday. Monday of next week, yeah, after Sunday, you'll see all the profiles mm -hmm. that she did when you run this uh, search on Wikitree Plus. So cool. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. And Alesh is actually the one, he's on the call with us, and he's the one is the creator of the Wikitree Plus. So he's he's a great uh, person to ask any questions about about it too. But there's a great help page that's linked right here at the um, top anywhere you see the it'll take it right to the help wikitree plus page and it is really great for knowing how to seeing how to use it all the different ways um, reports that you can get out of the database using it, the tool so some great information and then during the reveal, of course, we'll be using some uh, some tools from Wikitree Plus, the maps and, and things to share with you on, on the reveal. So you got to save some stuff for then. <laughs> some of the fun stuff from then for then. So. so tune in next week. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, the reveal will be uh, next uh, Thursday at 8 p.m. So we'll be able to see everything, uh, some more information that was found out. And maybe maybe by then some of the questions that were brought up today will be resolved too. So we can kind of talk about those. Um, so if nobody else has anything that they wanted to share, we can go ahead and wrap up I the call. Have, I do have a question for, for Randy because I came across a profile that ancestry had a a card for what looked like to be the per the gentleman was a mason and i don't remember who it was um who that card belonged to um randy do you know of any <laughs> of your ancestors that were in the the masons um masons I think I have some, but they're, I think, colonial. Um, okay. I, I can't remember, you know. I, you know, I have 10,000 Seavers in my database. <laughs> right. Well, yeah, I know. <laughs> they, they, they muddy the water a lot. Yeah. <laughs> well, and I think there's a, a way to find out. I mean, if that's, if it's categorized, you can find out using Wikitree Plus too. If somebody's categorized in I, his tree as a mason, yeah, I didn't. I didn't do a category on him because I just saw the card that was referenced to it, and I'm like, okay, mm -hmm. I need to let me find out more about this. I want to research this a little more, and then I accidentally closed the profile, and I can't remember what the profile was. And I, <laughs> 
keeping an eye out as I've been going doing more work and I don't remember who it was. So <laughs> I'll just go back through my contributions or yeah. do so, the the created and see if I can find it that way. Yeah, there you go. That'll that'll help I you find it. I don't even remember which line it was. <laughs> Which line? Because I kind of jumped around a little bit. I didn't even work on the line I said I was going to work on, which is the <laughs> line where Randy and I are connected. Are, um, connected. That's funny. Well, I'm connected to Randy through almost every line, I think. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. And I had all, Mostly what I worked on was just adding profiles that were in Randy's ancestry tree. Um. And like at the top, it always said I was related to that person. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I seem to be related to a lot of people through my mom's paternal line. Um, well, colonial Massachusetts, you know, it's like we're all related, I think. Yeah. So I'm never related to anybody. I've, I've actually got further away from Randy. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah, one degree further away. So well, well, it says we're eighth time. cousins. Yeah. It says we're eighth cousins, so yeah. See, uh, most of my connections to people, a lot of people are through um the um the ones that my family that were more, more became Mormons and moved to Utah and that a lot of that a lot of the time I get through that. Or sometimes to the ones that go went off to New Zealand or Australia. <laughs> That's really interesting. Mm. <laughs> I've got no connections to anybody because I haven't got any of my family tree on WikiTree. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Never enough time. There's too many wills. <laughs> too many wills to transcribe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Use AI. Well, we really appreciate it. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you again, everybody, for joining us. And hopefully, we'll see you all uh, at the reveal on next Thursday. I want to say thank you to all of you who have worked so hard on this. I understand the process now a little better. Um, it helped that I added my wife as an, an anonymous Leland. And several of you went away and, and found a whole lot that weren't in WikiTree at all. Uh, and that'll be helpful. I have a lot on that, but it wasn't on WikiTree, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I did see in Discord someone posted when you added her, and they got all excited because they could start yeah. adding to her lines, and so they just ran with it. So, <laughs> and, and I know there were a few of us that as we were going through, we were also doing a lot of cleaning. So some of your um, yeah. profiles that were imported as a GEDCOM may look a different and than they did when originally with sources cleaned up and stuff. So just because our developers have been so wonderful and given us lots of tools that we can use. Yeah. Like Topsy, it grows, doesn't it? Everyone does. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, I did find out from that will extract for the for, um, Daniel Bow that uh, Elizabeth Palmer's father was probably Henry because he left seats in the church to for them. And we can barely hear you. I think it's because you have your finger over the... Oh, sorry. It's okay. Um, <laughs> Elizabeth Palmer's father, I think, was Henry, but Henry Palmer, who was a church warden and had seats in the church, which he left to um, her children or her and went to her children. And they're detailed in the will extract. And he was classified as a gent. And oh, I think no. his line probably goes back to, um, I did find a will for 1500 and something for a palmer from Martok. So I think he's probably possible to get him back to there, that line. That's great. 
I always like going backwards. I, so I never stay in the CT7. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it like, always it always seems to be that there are the ones that like to increase the CC7 and then there's ones that just like to go straight back like you did. And then there's ones that like to write biographies versus just finding sources. So it, it works great to have um, all those different things, you know, different different aspects coming together for the week. Yeah, I like right. I like finding sources. It's like yeah. a detective hunt. Yeah. <laughs> I think I I had a few that were getting to the CC seven, and I just put on the rather than adding children, just because I could see but see them there. They were getting a bit close to the living people anyway. But yeah. I've just sort of left notes to, um, you know, they needed some sources putting on so that maybe somebody's, a spouse's parents or something like that might, somebody can add it on. They yeah. always do it when, it, somebody can always do it in a connector film, can't they? <laughs> yes, that that's right. <laughs> Speaking of that, I personally use kind of the 20-year rule. Um, so if somebody's died before, um, 2004 I'll add them and there were some that died after that I personally don't feel comfortable adding them because you never know how someone's seen a loved one you know if they've died in the past 20 years you don't know how they're going to react so there were a few more that I could have added that um, I think the most recent I saw was about 2013 or 2017, but I did not feel comfortable adding those. So there were a few more I could have added, but I didn't just for that reason. Well, thank you again, everybody. And we'll hope everybody has a great day and we'll see you around the tree. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, everyone. Yeah.